Today we're going to be talking about the Elsys Amplimax Ultra system. Now this is a 5G system and I want to give a big shout out to Haven Technologies for taking the time to send this over for review. Now in this video I'm not going to walk through the actual step-by-step -step setup process for it because Haven Technologies has done a phenomenal job of putting all of that information on their website and I will link all of that down in the description for you guys so it's easy to access. Now you can use this here in the United States if you have T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T and you are a 5G home internet user. And I want to walk through an unboxing really quick. After that, I will get the device all set up and then we're going to do some testing here at my home. And then I want to go out in the middle of nowhere and I want to do some additional testing so that we can see how well this thing actually performs. So without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing. So right off the bat, this is what the front of the box looks like. And then I'm gonna flip this over so that you guys can see what it looks like on the back. Feel free to pause this if you'd like to read about any of the stuff that comes in the box or any of the information on the system itself. Now when we first opened the box, we are greeted with the Elsys Amplimax Ultra modem and antenna combo unit. And then next to that, we don't have anything. It's just an insert to keep the actual system itself stable. But then underneath that is where we're going to have all of the actual items that come with this to get this thing set up. And first look at the unit itself. It looks really nice. The build quality looks really good. Taking a look here at the back, we do have uh, metal that's going to connect this for all of our mounting points, which is really good. And if we flip this over to the bottom, we do have a couple of flaps here that's going to be our weatherproofing for all the electronics inside. You'll see this side here covers where your SIM cards go. And then there's some other stuff here. There's a button that's going to help you install this and find the tower along with some LEDs. And then the other side just has information on the actual unit itself. Taking a look at some of the accessories that you get in the kit, you're going to get an RJ45 cable that is 15 meters in length, which is approximately 49 feet. You're also going to get a PoE or power over ethernet injector, as well as a flush mount wall plate. Now this is going to be used if you choose to mount this directly to a wall, as opposed to putting it on something like a J-pole. Next we have another RJ45 cable that is 1.4 meters in length, which is approximately four and a half feet. And then we have a power adapter. Now the output on this is 24 volts and one amp, and it's utilizing a barrel plug for its connection. Next we have two metal clamps, as well as some zip ties. Now I would recommend using the metal clamps if you wanna connect this either to the wall mount or a J-pole because in my opinion you're just going to get a lot sturdier connection especially if you're going to have this outside in the elements and then last but not least it does come with a quick start guide unfortunately it was kind of buried at the bottom of all of the stuff but this is going to kind of walk you through step by step what you need to do to get this thing up and going aside from whatever you need to do to set it up for your specific service but it'll show you how to actually connect everything and get it hooked up now taking a closer look at the actual system itself, you'll see on the bottom here we have a cable gland and you can go ahead and unthread that. That's going to give you access to the single RJ45 port. Now what's nice about this is it means you only have to use one cable for both power and data, which is great for getting this inside your home in terms of running all of the cable. Now from there we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the actual cable gland itself. And you will see here that it has an O-ring type uh, fitting here at the front and then on the back we have a cap that we can unscrew and inside that cap is also going to be a grommet. Now you can go ahead and just push that out and you'll see that there's an actual concave side and a flat side and it is pre-cut. Now we do want to make sure, I'm going to show you how to set this up really quick. We're going to run the cable through the back but we want to make sure that when we put that grommet on you're putting the concave side inside the actual housing. But I'm going to wait to put that on. I'm going to go ahead and run the cable all the way through this and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this threaded into the actual system itself and then I'm going to go ahead and fit that grommet on there and push it into the actual housing and then it's the actual cap on the back that actually 
sandwiches this all together and creates that weatherproofing seal. Now there is another way you can do this. So I showed you how to do it this way and then I'm gonna show you really quick. You can put everything together and as long as you don't tighten that rear cap down really tight, it'll actually slide back and forth on the cable. So if you're more comfortable setting everything up, then plugging the cable in and then putting it on there and then threading it in and setting it up that way, you could do it that way too. You just need to make sure that you leave the end cap kind of loose. That way it moves on the cable freely and you're not binding anything up. Now the first thing we need to do before we actually get anything hooked up and try to use this is we need to go to Haven Technologies support website and we need to download a firmware update for the device before we can do anything like change the IMEI number. And so I'm going to walk you through this. I'm also going to put a link down in the description for you guys. But basically when you get to the support page here, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's going to be a link here at the bottom. You're going to click that and that is going to download the actual firmware. And then you will need to unzip the file and then I will show you how to actually update it once we get to that point. Now you'll see we have everything set up outside. I actually have all the cable ran down here to this window well that you see right here in front of us. And I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and I've transferred my SIM card. Now really quick, I do wanna show you how far away from the cell phone tower I am. And as you can see, it's not that far away. So I just got back inside from running all the cables and doing everything that I needed to do outside. And I wanted to show you how I have everything hooked up here in the house. So this is the PoE injector that comes in the kit. I have that plugged in DC power. You'll see the light is on here and it is plugged in right here. And then this white cable is something that didn't come in the kit because I am using Waveform's ethernet window entry cable, which I have right here. And on the other side of that is the black cable that came in the kit and it is connected to the antenna itself. And then right here, this is going directly into the back of my PC. So now let's hop on over to the computer and I'm gonna get this thing set up and we'll see how well it performs. So hopping back over on the PC, we are on Haven Technologies support website for the Amplimax Ultra. And you will see here on the left-hand side, they have all kinds of frequently asked questions that walk you through updating the firmware, set up for various services, so on and so forth. At the top, they also have the search assistant section where you can put in your name and your email address. And and then once you select start chat, you'll be connected with a online AI chat bot. And from there, you can ask it very similar questions that you'd be looking for in the frequently asked questions section. So for this video, I asked it how to perform a firmware update because we do still need to update the firmware so we can change our IMEI number. And it will give you a step-by-step -step process with links that take you to downloading the actual firmware itself. So, and, and this will work for a multitude of other things, not just updating the firmware, but I just wanted to make sure that I highlighted that. So the first thing we need to do to actually update the firmware is we are gonna go over to our web browser and we are going to type in 192.168.10.254. And that is gonna take us to the Amplimax Ultra setting screen or splash screen where we can actually do some configurations on this device. So to update the firmware, you just need to click on settings here on the left. And then once you do that, you will see where it says update software here in the center of the screen. You can see on version 1.3.0 and the latest version is 2.5. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a local update and I'm gonna select that file that we unzipped and downloaded from Haven Technologies earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my firmware. This is gonna take a little bit and then I will be back as soon as that's done. And we are back and we are updated and now I need to set this up for T-Mobile 5G home internet and I'm going to follow the guide that Haven Technologies has here on their website. You can also use the AI chat assistant that's at the top of the screen, but it's going to give you the exact same directions. So once I get this done, we will be back and we will do some testing of the Amplimax Ultra. Now we've got everything set up. I want to bring your attention to the bar here at the top. You'll see that we are connected to T-Mobile and that we do have good 5G service. So now let's go ahead and do some testing and I am gonna try and go to ESPN.com and you'll see that that loaded quickly. And then we're just gonna run through some tests here. So I don't wanna talk your ear off, but just as a baseline, I'm gonna load a couple of different YouTube videos from my YouTube channel. I'm gonna run a speed test. And then I went back and I loaded the New York Times website as well as running a Netflix movie here in my web browser. And so I'm gonna run through all of that and then I will be back at the end of all of that testing. Because the idea here is just for you to see how well 
the Amplimax Ultra system performs. And so once we get through all of the testing, then we will transition to doing some gaming. And then we will go out in the middle of nowhere and we will reconduct some of these tests. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to my Xbox Series X and we're gonna test that and see if you can do some gaming with the Amplimax Ultra. And just to show you, we've replaced the black cable that was plugged into my computer. I've plugged that back into my Switch and then I've unplugged my Xbox. As you can see here, this is my Xbox Series X and that cable goes right into this now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test that out. Now once I got this plugged into my Xbox, I went in and did a connection refresh for both my internet speed as well as my NAT type. I tested both so you can see the statistics here for my network and then my NAT type is actually strict. I didn't have any issues with it being strict. Aside from playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6, I did get this error that you see here. I was able to fix that by putting the unit or the Amplimax Ultra rather into bridge mode and then I connected that directly to my Eero mesh system and then I didn't have any issues at all. It actually changed my NAT type from strict to moderate and Call of Duty worked fine. But every other game I tried to play using this plug directly into my Xbox worked perfect. And so for this video, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of gameplay here from playing Titanfall 2. You'll see that there's not really any lag and that everything is pretty responsive. So overall, I thought that this worked really well. This is gonna conclude the testing that I'm doing in my home. Now I'm gonna load up my truck and we're gonna pack up some stuff. I'm gonna head out to the middle of nowhere, but I'm gonna point this device at the exact same tower and we're gonna see how well this thing can perform with some distance in between the device and the tower as well as some obstructions. So we finally made it out to the country to test the Amplimax Ultra system. Now we are in the middle of some pretty heavy snow. We're approximately 8.2 miles from the tower that's by my house and I have everything hooked up and configured already. I'll show you all of that when I get in the truck because again, it is snowing. But let's see how well this thing can perform when we're actually quite a ways away from the actual tower. And then we have a pretty big forest in between us as well. Now in terms of setup, I'm using the waveform ethernet window entry cable so that we're keeping all the snow and the water out of my truck this thing is a lifesaver i'll put a link down below for that product if you want to check it out they designed it to use in windows uh, for your house but it also works really well in your vehicle so we have that running we have the cat 6e cable coming out of the elsis amplimax ultra and it's going into that and then we have the cable running from the other side of that cable down to the poe injector right here we are getting power from an inverter in my truck and then this is going into my macbook right here via this dongle that gives me a gigabit ethernet port so let's see how well this thing can perform okay so i have my computer up and we're connected to the amplimax ultra system and we're going to go in and we're going to just see how well this works now it looks like everything loaded up. Let's just click on this. Yeah, it looks like it's working pretty good. Let's do a speed test and see how well that works. These are incredible speeds. This is literally way better than what I'm getting in my house a mile away from the tower. 
That's crazy. Now, one thing I want to try while we're out here is I'm going to see if we can do Amazon Luna Cloud Gaming. Now, I have a Bluetooth controller paired to my MacBook, and I want to see if we can actually play something here. Now I am holding the camera, so I'm going to try and do this one-handed. But it looks like it's working fine. So that's pretty cool. So this is gonna conclude all the testing that I'm doing out here on this device. Uh, it did hold up really well, all things considered. So we have all of the snow. I mean, you can see it's got a bunch of snow on it and it was still performing great. We're, like I said, 8.2 miles away from the tower and that seemed to give us better speeds than what I got being a mile away from the tower, oddly enough. And this has all kinds of obstructions that I don't have at my house so we were able to surf the web we did some speed tests and we did some cloud gaming and it all performed flawlessly this is going to be a great device for anybody looking for 5g home internet and you want to get away from using the provided gateway that they give you this is going to give you much better speeds much better signal doesn't matter whether you're camping you live in the middle of nowhere you want to put it in your rv this thing is phenomenal. So without further ado, I'm going to get everything unhooked, pack everything up, I'm going to head home and I'll see you guys back in the studio. I really hope this video was helpful for everybody. If you have any questions about the product at all, feel free to hit me up down in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Now, if you're interested in purchasing the Amplimax Ultra system, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for you guys so you have access to that information as well. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to Haven Technologies for sending this over for review. This video would not have been possible if it weren't for them. And like always, I really appreciate each and every person that takes the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I truly appreciate it. But that's about all I have for this. So I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.